G'day guys, Mick here, and welcome back to another backyard cook up. Um, it's now first weekend of September. We were supposed to cook up last night, which was Saturday, Sunday today. Um, due to rain and whatnot, you know, we couldn't do it. A bit hard to get a fire going properly when it's pissing down rain. So this is another challenge between myself, Unpro Adventures, uh, Ryan from Vikings and a bunch of others. I don't know exactly who's joining in this week, um, but yeah, everybody that's joining in, probably the same as we did last time around. So this week's challenge is chicken any way you like it. So I'm going to do uh, something I've done a while back, haven't done for a while though, and I'm going to sort of put a bit of a new spin to it. So the idea is a honey sesame chicken cooked over the coals but I'll be making two meals out of this I'll be making dinner for tonight and I'll be making lunch for tomorrow so stick around you'll see that all right guys so first thing I need to do is get the honey sesame mix done now over this side I've had a jar of honey uh, sitting in some hot water now this is called Doylson Delight it's from a local beekeeper just around the corner from me in Budgewoy uh, the hives he's got here are just up the road at Doylson, so I'm going to tip some of this in. I've had it, as I said, I've had it soaking in hot water, simply because I want to make it runny. Mmm, God, that's nice. Alton beets, fresh, raw honey. Beautiful. So I put a little bit of that in the bowl, I'm not putting heaps in. And then some sesame seeds. Now, as I've never actually done this one before, I'm not um, certain on measurements and stuff, but yeah, might actually just go and grab myself some uh, spoon to mix that up with. Okay, so just give that a quick mix. It's quite nice and thick. So you can see, plenty of sesame seeds, plenty of honey. If I need a bit more honey, then I'll add it. I'll sit this over here. All right, so I grabbed a pack of chicken breast from Coles. Uh, it's what, 1.25 kilo. And I am going to use the whole thing. As I said, I plan to make more than just um, one meal out of this. So, normally when doing uh, chicken, I'd normally use a fish filleting knife, but these MasterChef ones are great. And that will work just nicely for me. I'm just going to cut this into strips. And I'm going to drop these straight into the honey mix. I'm cutting these chicken strips to be, I don't know, around about sort of 15 mil thick. Not uh, being precise with any of this as always. Okay, so there's the chicken all diced up. Get the chicken cutting board and knife out of the way. And I'm obviously going to need more honey on that, so come over here. 
Give me hands a rinse while I'm at it. And then a bit more sesame. And the idea here is to mix it right through, coat all the chicken and the honey and sesame mix. Sticky as old crap. I'll be going inside in a minute to wash my hands. Okay, so the honey and sesame is all in there. Now I'm gonna get some garlic going in there. Now I've been looking online to try and find out the best way to do this and it appears that just squashing it like that is the best way. Uh, if you've watched the last video, you'll remember I don't normally use garlic press. I normally just buy the crushed, crushed garlic, which is already done. Definitely the easiest way, I think. Okay, so that will do for the garlic. Now so I'm not using my fingers again. Okay, I'll put the lid on there and put that out of my way. Okay, now while I wait for the wood to continue uh, burning down and give me some coals, I'm gonna prep the salad. Obviously I'm not using everything we have here. A lot of it will be going back in the fridge and be continue to use be used during the week but again I'm making dinner tonight and lunch tomorrow out of this There's my salad, see? It's that easy. Okay, so I think this is going to be a better way to do it. I've got two bowls this way. One for lunch, one for dinner. Um, don't have a bag to put rubbish in just yet. But I do now. Now I never used to do um, capsicum in my salads, but my missus does, she loves it. And it gives it a little bit of an extra taste, so I was sort of coming to figure why not. It's not bad. As for colour, I really don't care. Throw a few sesame seeds in amongst both of them. Cole's so called fresh baby cos lettuce. Now, a lot of people I've noticed when they do salads, they like to leave the leaves of the lettuce whole. 
I don't. I like to cut them up and they are quite dirty so I'm actually going to go and wash them. Especially in a wrap or something like that, I really don't like having uh, large leaves of lettuce. So. Dropping it half, half of it on the ground. That's all right, plenty there. Handful into each side. Next into the salad, a couple of carrots. Me the one for dinner. Next, we have a couple of tomatoes. And last ingredient. Because my son's not a big fan of onion, I'm going to avoid the onion this time. And we're just going to dice up a few shallots. Uh, he's not a huge fan of these either, but he'd rather these than onion for the most part. Unless it's on a, unless it's on a bunning snag, then he loves his onion. Actually, he just loves his bunning snags. I have noticed with shallots, some people will either use the green section or the white section. Don't seem to use both. I like to use the whole thing. Waste not, want not. And I reckon that will be out to me. That's all my salad stuffs. Alrighty, now as per usual, I don't like a lot of flame on the fire when I'm cooking. However, tonight, because of the way I want to do this, I do need a bit more flame. So, give this all a bit of a mix around again. Uh, being that this has sat for quite a while, the honey should have soaked into the chicken quite well. So, a bit of salt and pepper in there. Stir it through. Now what I am hoping for this um, is that the honey, when it hits the heat of the grill and the flame, I'm hoping the honey actually crisps up. So you get a nice soft chicken center, but with a crispy outer. That's the idea anyway. Now let's get the tongs. I've got a big thing about chicken and using my hands, I don't like it uh, because of the risk, the health risks in that with chicken and semolina, um, all that shit, you know. Smell that honey the second it hits there. I think I'm going to have to use my fingers though, it's not quick enough. Now because this chicken is cut quite thin, it won't take very long to cook. Which is part of why I've prepared the salad first.
Now the missus wanted to use my new plates today. Only got these last night. They're the um, ones that Coles was giving away. By the time you see this, anyway, they're the ones Coles were giving away as part of a promo with flybys. Fair bit of salad on there. Bit left over, as I knew there would be. Those last couple of bits of chicken will be about ready. Now that's nice. Mm. Well, anyways, guys, that's it for tonight's dinner. I uh, still got a little bit of chicken there cooking away on the grill and that will go in for tomorrow's lunches so when I'm ready to do tomorrow's lunches I'll give you a look so yeah honey sesame chicken cooked over the grills with a nice fresh garden salad and a bit of feta alrighty guys so dinner last night was a smash uh, family absolutely loved it and my son in particular was sitting there straight after dinner asking to eat the rest of the chicken. Um, so, yeah, obviously went down well. As stated, that meal that I made up was to do two. And as you can see in front of you here, I've got some wraps, some chicken, and the rest of the salad. So, this is one of the reasons I like doing a meal like this when out in the bush. Not only do you get a bloody delicious dinner, but you get a great lunch too. So... Gonna get started guys. Obviously doing a wrap isn't all that difficult. Um, I just bought cheap basic wraps from Coles. Doesn't need to be overly expensive. And yeah, I am doing this inside because I couldn't be stuffed trying to go outside. So yeah. All I normally do, guys, is a nice handful of salad. That's probably even a bit much, to be honest. There's going to be heaps in here. Nice handful of the salad. And... A couple of bits of chicken. Stay there. Fold the bottom up, come from one side and wrap it tight. As per usual, they want to come apart on you. Uh, but that's literally it guys, just a small handful of the salad. Um, as much or as little as you want. A couple of bits of chicken. And then just roll it. And that's all it takes. Uh, um, again, you know, I've got the leftover chicken there from dinner last night. The extra salad that I made up. There's, again, there's going to be a ton of salad left. Um, and then, yeah, what we had last night. So, beautiful dinner, beautiful lunch, nice, healthy, um, and plenty of energy to get you through the day. So, alrighty guys, so I hope you have enjoyed this cook-up and the last one. Uh, if you have, don't forget to give me a like, and if you haven't already subscribed, please do so. Remember, you can um, also support this channel through Patreon. And if you want to buy merch, jump over to my Facebook page. And I've got stickers, shirts, hats, things like that. So uh, all the prices and that are on Facebook. Um, and again, thanks to all the other boys that have joined in with these cook-ups. Um, Ryan from Vikings, Shad Donahue, Mud Duck, 4 Drive Turin. Um, Grant from 4 Wheel in New South Wales, Steve from Unpro Adventures. 
Uh, thanks to everyone that's joined along with these. These have been a lot of fun. Gives us all something to do during lockdown. So, all right, guys, take care, peace, and I'll see you on the tracks.